Hey everyone! Hopefully somebody's here. But I'm gonna spin you around. Here we go. Look, the new toys. Let me see if I can balance stuff here like this. Look at that. There we go. Right. Let's have a play with the color pure. <laughs> Hope somebody's here. Anyone? Oh well, I'm going to get into it because I'm hanging out to try this so much. You guys can watch it on replay if you're not here. I'm just going to put this first coat on. I don't know if I can do it in front of the microphone the way I've got things. I'm not very good at painting my nails, if I'm honest. I'm not a nail tech by any means. Oh, somebody's here. I'm going to do alternating nails. Why not? And oh, let's see if I can get this on the. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this color cure, like full on, levels itself out. You can watch it leveling. It's insane. It's crazy. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can see that properly yet. I'll show you in a different light after I cure it. But it's insane watching it self-level. So if you're like me and have trouble putting on polish straight or the same thickness across all your nails, this is perfect, to be honest. Because... Yeah, I'm not the greatest at it. I never used to do my nails. I used to bite them. Okay, so I've got paint on my little finger and my thumb and the middle one. Oh gosh, I need to put one on here, on that one. Right, and I'm going to put the purple, the rule breaker, on the two in-betweens. Fascinating to watch this level out. I've not used this before. I've seen amazing reviews about it. But this is my very first time giving it a go. And just like with gel, you've got to remember to cap your tips. So that it seals at the end. This is crazy watching itself level though. Right, into the light we go. So this you generally only need two coats. And it cures for 99 seconds. This is fascinating. And so easy, no base coat, no top coat, and the light's automatic. I don't know if I can give you a better view of that. Here we go. It's got a counter on the top, so it's counting the, the times. 55 seconds at the moment. After the first coat, it's still a little bit see through, but things really change with that second coat.
so 89 90 nearly there oh and it turned off all by itself let's see if i can position my phone slightly differently to show you guys better as i put it on i want to show you how it self levels it's fascinating if I can move myself around. Right, let's do this attempt again, my second coach. Making sure not to spill it because that would be terrible. Right. Let's see if I can show you. I'm quite amazed by this. I don't know if you can see that properly on that little finger. But it just levels itself out so it's like perfect. Which is brilliant for me. Because I'm not the greatest at getting polish right at the best of the times. I've tried. But only really since joining Jamboard have I tried. It wasn't really something I used to be interested in at all. This is amazing. Mind blowing. What a game changer. Like seriously, if you have any lumps or bumps in it, it just flattens itself. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Do the purple now. Let's see if I can show you with the purple how it levels. This is mind blowing. Let's see if I can show you. I really want. It's so hard to see on video. But I'm actually sitting here watching this flatten itself so that there's. No streaks, no lumps, it's just perfect. So simply perfect. That's crazy. Insanely crazy. Again, you're supposed to do thin coats like with True Shine. I might have gone a little thin on my thumb or I caught it on my jersey when I was trying to reach over. I think I might have. Oh, it was still worked. But that's okay. Get up. And let's do it again. Apparently it's easy enough to fix too. The lamp has a little, you can feel a little bit of warmth from it. But I love that there's no buttons to mess around with and your hands can go bright in there. Um, so much easier than the True Shine lamp. And I have to turn my hand on a million different angles. Because it's awkward. <laughs> Up to 74. I really want to try the black. So much want to try the black. I'm loving this purple. So much. This is awesome. Wow. I don't think I've ever painted my nails that far. Wow. Okay. Um. Look at that. It's got a shine. And I can touch it. And it's all good to go. Wow. Didn't quite get that tip properly. But wow. That's amazing. Right. Let's crack open the black to the other hand. I hope again. Oh, there we go. 
to pick up what I like in a minute. Let's see what the black's like. I really want brown. It's a shame there's nobody watching. But hopefully you can catch it on replay. And the first coat of black is rather silky, rather grey looking. But somebody else, my, when my upline um, put the black on today, she only did two coats and it was really black. It was like an amazing black. So... with this because it yeah that second coat really changes things that's changing I'm really enjoying watching itself level that's blowing my mind hi Ashley I'm just playing with color cure I'm just putting the black on um I'll show you again Seeing as you're here now watching, I'll show you that my left hand that I just did um, with the pink and the purple colour cure. Bear with me, I'm just getting the black sorted, the first coat. I'll just put that under the lamp. It's really hard using my left hand to paint. Doesn't work that way. Right. Well, that's under there. Now I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can. It looks rather grey at the moment. Um, it's not a nice looking colour, but that's only the first coat. Apparently, the second coat changes everything. And if I can balance my phone there again, there's the pink and purple. Although it's hard to see with the light in there. Um, no, I can't even do it that way. I'll have to show you in a minute, love. It's a shame I broke the stand that I had for my phone. Would have been so much easier. There's a counter on this lamp, Ashley. And it's counting down the 99 seconds that it takes to cure. But there's no base coat, no top coat, just the colour. And oh gosh. And as I was saying before, it self levels. You can watch it self leveling on your nails if you've got like a ridge or a lump or something. Isn't the lamp styly? I love it. And I love that it turns on all by itself when you put your hand in there. Um, no buttons to press, nothing. And the base is magnetic, so you can take it off when you do your toes. It's fantastic. It's super styly lamp. And it flicks off all by itself. Right, now, while well, I've stopped for a moment, there you go, there's the pink and the purple. The purple's not showing as purple too much in this light. And... This is my one coat of black, and it looks very grey at the moment. So let's do the second coat of black and see what it does. Oh gosh, I'm throwing my phone everywhere. I don't mean to. Right. Apparently, the second coat changes everything. I honestly, I saw all the reviews. I didn't know if I believed them. I'm starting to believe. This is crazy, absolutely crazy. And being that this is my first time doing Colour Cure, um, maybe I need a bit more practice too, because 
let's face it, it's a little different. Oh, you love the pink too. The pink's super popular. Like, amazingly popular. Heaps of people are loving the pink. They're all over it. Pink's not usually my colour, but it is actually a nice, subtle one. Okay. Oh, wow. This black has totally changed. Like, <laughs> massively changed from what it was. What a difference. I'll show you in a moment. But it was super grey before, more so than black. Wow, this is awesome. And I'm loving, I can't say enough how much I'm loving watching it self-level. Because it's like it knows. And it just makes it right. And I think that's great. Oh, for me it is. Jeez. Polish. This is why I love rats, is because polish isn't usually my thing, but um, I might have fallen in love with colour cure, to be honest. I think I need all the colours. I've got all this amazing. I, I need them all. Okay, um, before I coat my thumb, and before I cure it, oh gosh, my lighting is terrible. See that on my thumb? That's the one coat. And that's the two coats on my other fingers before I've even cured them. One coat, two coats. That's insanely different. Like crazy different. I don't even know how that works, to be honest. That's crazy, crazy different. And... What I have learnt too is with Colour Cure, you don't have to wait or do anything before you put wraps on it. You just have to allow it a minute, one minute after curing in natural light. So one minute in natural light and you can put wraps over top of it. Like what? Mind blowing. So you can still be completely individual and add your favourite wrap without too big a problem and this is like the quickest painted mini I've ever done seriously I, I'm blown away this is crazy crazy and okay I was a little slower painting my right hand because my left hand doesn't still doesn't like to cooperate but that's all right this is crazy. Like the difference from one coat to two coats. Mind blowing. Absolutely mind blowing. If you've got any questions, I'll try my best to answer them. I don't have all the answers yet though, because this is like a brand new product. And it's definitely something different. A bit out of this world, really. Absolutely mind-blowing. Maybe I should have shaken my black bottle a bit more, maybe. Might just need to do a third coat of that to get it to what I'd like it to be. Let's see what a third coat looks like because it's pretty good. But it's not quite as dark as I'd like it to be. It's got an amazing shine on it. Oh, there goes my phone again. Sorry. Didn't mean to drop you. I want to... Yeah, I want to keep playing with this. I don't have enough fingers. 
Darn it. I want more fingers. Oh, wow. Yeah, for my liking, the third coat of the black makes all the difference. Wow. Maybe I did my coats just a little bit too thin. Maybe that's something I need to get used to. Oh, that's stunning. Yes, definitely. I need to work on my coat thickness because... I know that Nikki did two today and she came up with this finish that I'm getting now. So maybe it was just beginner's error. More so. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. I'm loving this black. It'll be interesting to see how the colour cure handles working on farm feeding calves. I'm curious to know how well it deals with that. Yeah, I think I need to work on my coat thickness because this is just so much different now. So that's a beginner's thing. And a practice thing. And that's fine. I need more colours. That's a must have. I'm so... I almost want to take it all off and start again just so I can watch myself level. Because that's so much fun. I realise you're not seeing much at the moment, but it's hard for me to... Oh, that's stunning. That black now is so solid. Yes, absolutely gorgeous. Love it. And then the question is, to wrap or not to wrap? Hmm, that is the question. But then I might take it all off tomorrow and change it, just because I can. To remove the colour cure, it's as simple as soaking and remover for two to three minutes and then wiping away. Are you serious? It cures like a gel, sets like a gel, and then it's so easy to remove. Say what? Loving it. And when I'm on a time schedule like I am with calf rearing, this is brilliant. to 64 seconds this time so I only got the three colors so far um I will endeavor to get more but this is amazing sorry you were just about to ask was that about removing Ashley The removal was so easy. I, I, I'm I not very patient, so I struggle with true shine removal because it takes ages. That black has changed so much. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. I love it. Wow. <laughs> yeah, no, removal's pretty simple from what I understand. It's, yeah, hang on. I'll spin it around so you can see me. How's that sound? Here we go. And the other thing about Colour Cure is you don't have to worry about it um, getting wet or anything afterwards. There is no rule about that. So, like, I can go and have a shower and it should be fine. But I haven't had my shower yet after work because I've been too busy with the end of month and everything. So, yeah. Um, I'm definitely going to put it to the test and see how we get on. Although I didn't cap my tips perfectly. Um, but yeah, it's definitely something I want to keep playing with because it's just too easy. It's so much fun. 
and the lamp is just super cute. Oh, that's right, I was going to show you how the base comes off. Bear with me a sec. I'll flip the camera around again, just for a second. Look at that. It's magnetic. It's so cool. Look. See? So you can take the base off and sit it over your toes or whatever, and it's brilliant. Just like that. Love it. It's super cute. <laughs> But this is like all fully dry now. Look at that. I can touch it. I can play with it. And the other hand. And nothing. Like. <laughs> I love it. It was so quick. Really. Compared to doing a gel with a base coat. Top coat. Curing in between. And the colour in between. Wow. For people like me who actually um, and just spending a ton of time, oh, I've got some on my fingers, um, a ton of time on your nails, this is brilliant. Must have smeared that when I, when I did it. What an egg. This is just so cool. Very different, very different. Anyway, I shall head off now, and... Hopefully some others will see this later and ask questions. Thanks for watching. Bye.